Hello ladies and gentlemen, Royal Road 82 here, your Royal Road Archaeologist. So this is part two of our restored abandoned railroad series. I'm gonna include a Google Maps access location so you guys can follow along. This is the crossing. And here you have the continuation of the new railroad. So I, as I said, I, I was here last July and they were removing all these rails and cross sides actually they're still the, the old ones are in a pile or some of the old ones are in a pile behind me somewhere and uh they made this all new i thought they were going to remove it to perhaps who knows what make a rail to trail or do some cute little bs not, not anything involving revitalizing a rail but they sure did and it is refreshing to see because i can still smell look there's an old cross tie right there these rails i uh in part one you you recall that there was one from 1987 there was also one from 1953 so these rails have been recycled that is facing east Th that big uh, overpass over there is I-95 and now we're walking west we're gonna come up on a on a switch stand over here so check it out ladies and gents well that target has seen better days but yeah normally that target would be so if we're following the point that means this track was lined up to go straight as is evident by the box cars over there so this was put in place to go straight that means that that target should be green and yeah you guys will remember between these two buildings over here last year was where they were they had all the bulldozers and earth moving equipment as well as the discarded ties but yeah, this is so refreshing to see. Like you even have, this was put in place new over here. You have a derail put in place. This one I think might still be the old one cause it does not have, huh. I have to check my old video. But yeah, um. Look at the new ballast job they did over here. So I'm going to continue walking that way. Come along with me, guys. All right, you guys, so check it out. Here you have your switch stand, your target. Target red, so that would indicate you're going to the siding, and that is correct because if you follow the point, the point will take you to the side and here it's open so you're gonna the flange is gonna go to that open section if you were a conductor you would come you would put step on that bring it over to the other side and that's how you would switch the track so yeah you got that going on there And yeah, this is all a brand new setup over here. So amazing, nice to see. This is where all the earth moving equipment and everything was, was placed when they were making this operation. Now, let's go. Oh man, so you see this, well, this is kind of like bittersweet over here because so you have the spur, right? But you have a what used to be a loading dock and they repaved it. Paved over it so it's no longer a loading dock. You see, I don't wanna cause any just raise any suspicion over here. Have anybody call the cops on me, but yeah. Check it out. Look at the, the registration marks. Oh, there's two boxcars. 
the registration marks is B-A-E-X 7168, that's lumber. It's a lumber yard. And I think this one might be loaded as the springs are near the ground. Built by Pullman Standard, Bessemer, Alabama. There you have the end of the road. And the registration marks on this one are FBOX 50269. All right, ladies and gents, there you go. You got your uh, angle cocks. Those are your angle cocks right there. You gotta open those softly, your air brake hoses. I've seen those take out some kneecaps in my day, your knuckles. This is what you pull to disengage the cars. Fascinating. I feel like I'm back on the railroad. Well, I guess technically I am. <laughs> Just not employed by one. All right, ladies and gents, always a pleasure. Let me know what you think of this uh, great breaking news over here in North Miami that there's an abandoned railroad brought back to life. This is what needs to happen all over the country. Like maybe with the CSX Homestead subdivision, maybe there's hope for that now. Maybe a short line might pick it up. Just have like maybe a couple of profitable businesses along the way to help bring it back. Yeah, who knows? This certainly brings joy to my day. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Always a pleasure. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.